Hi folks, it seems like Nick Kyrgios is the talk of the town these days, although oftentimes he's not in the news for the right reasons. Racket smashes, arguments, breakdowns, you know how it goes with him. But that might not be the case this time. Earlier in the week, the Aussie got widespread praise after he withdrew from the Atlanta Open, and in this video, we're here to tell you all about it. Let's get started. First up, Nick Kyrgios withdraws from the Atlanta Open. Nick stunned the world when he made the Wimbledon final earlier this month. It's really no surprise that he's top-notch when he's in the mood to play, especially on grass. But it wouldn't be a reach to say that absolutely no one saw that coming. He lost the final to Novak Djokovic, and there's no shame in that. All the best players have. Still, getting to that stage is a huge, huge, huge achievement on its own. And he did it while struggling with a minor shoulder injury, too. Now, Nick plays when he wants to. Unlike most players on the ATP Tour, he picks and chooses the tournament he wants to compete in. And, well, that can be hard on an athlete's body. Following Wimbledon, the Aussie had to withdraw from the Atlanta Open. It's a huge blow for his US Open preps, but he said he was dealing with knee soreness. There's absolutely nothing worse than injuries for athletes. So honestly, we're gutted for the guy, and we hope he recovers well in time to play at the Flushing Meadows. He pulled out just minutes before his first round game with Peter Goyochik. Adrian Manorino took his place in the draw. Nick announced that he was still playing doubles with his best friend, Tanasi Kokonakis. Up next, Kyrgios talks to the crowd after pulling out. It's fairly common for athletes to withdraw from games, but it was what Nick did afterward that had the world singing praises for the 27-year-old. So what did he do? Well, he simply came out to talk to the crowd. As he withdrew only minutes before his match was supposed to begin, it understandably left fans very disappointed. Everybody wants to see the Kyrgios show these days, but he came out to address the audience and they were very appreciative of that gesture. Nick started by saying he was shattered that he couldn't compete in the tournament. He said that he had won in Atlanta once before, back in 2016, and because he was playing the best tennis of his career, he just really wanted to come out and give a show, but he knew that he couldn't do his best and that he was extremely sorry for that. He then mentioned that he was hoping the crowd wouldn't be too hard on him. He thanked all the support he was getting and said that he loved all his fans, and he promised that he was going to be back next year to give it his all. So, how did fans react to this gesture? The short answer? Fans loved it. Social media was full of praises for Nick Kyrgios, and that's not a common sight. Everybody was super impressed he decided to talk instead of hiding behind the announcement like most players. One fan tweeted that he gave the star a lot of credit for coming out and addressing the fans. He also added that he doesn't remember anybody else doing that after pulling out. Another fan wrote that they really hope he's fully healthy in time to win the US Open. And we're not sure about that second part, but here's hoping. One fan commented that they admired his courage to speak to the crowd considering the circumstances, and they hoped he bounces back quickly and continues his stellar season. Another posted that this was the real Nick, and the media just gave him a bad rep because he wasn't your traditional tennis player. And alright, we understand the sentiment, but the guy did spit at a fan less than a month ago. Also, the Aussie signed some autographs and posed with fans on his way out. Love him or hate him, you can't look away from him. And finally, does this affect his US Open campaign? Unfortunately, it does. As of right now, Nick is ranked number 45 in the world. Yes, despite almost winning Wimbledon. Of course, there were no ranking points at the tournament this year after ATP's decision, which would have improved his ranking significantly. He would have broken into the top 20. Instead, it was bad luck for him. He dropped five places after being in the final two. Ouch. And now, his withdrawal could mean that he falls outside the top 60. That would also mean that he'd enter the US Open as an unseated contender, a Wimby finalist going to New York on Seated? Now that's unheard of. Still, he can recover some of his rankings in Cincinnati, Ohio. The event organizers recently announced Nick was granted a wildcard entry to the tournament. It's the biggest step up in competition before the Flushing Meadows, with Rafa Nadal and Daniil Medvedev also on the entry list to play. Even Sasha Zverev is expected to make a return. This will be Nick's sixth appearance at the Southern and Western Open, and his first one in three years. He made the final of the tournament in 2017, where he ultimately lost to Grigor Dimitrov. But hey, it's a new season. He's in the form of his life, who's to say what could happen? And that's all about how the world of tennis erupted at Nick Kyrgios's act after withdrawal. Now, let's move on to some other tennis-related news. First up, Nick says he would have won Wimbledon if he wasn't up against Noel. Well, duh, you were two sets away at one point, Nick. The 27-year-old did a Q&A session on Instagram a couple of days ago, and when a fan asked him what he had learned from his first Grand Slam final, his response was shockingly honest. He said that his first major final was pretty impressive. He talked about how well he was serving in the game, and said that he felt like like if he was up against anyone else but Djokovic in that game, he would have won. And to be fair, it's kind of hard to argue with that. His serve was superb throughout the game, but he was just up against the best returner in the world, and on some days, you just cannot match up to that. On a serious note, Nick expressed that next time he would try to ride the emotional wave a bit smoother. He said that he realizes how much was on the line at the time. We have to say that we're very happy to hear that. Also, we speak for everybody when we say he needs to get a better hold of his emotions on court. Next up, Emma Raducanu on her support for Kyrgios. 
chaos. Emma received a lot of backlash for supporting Nick during his run to the Wimby final. The world number 10 tweeted his initials with a magic wand after he qualified for the semifinals, but that was also one day after news came out that he was summoned to a Canberra court over abuse allegations by his ex-girlfriend. And while we understand where fans were coming from, maybe direct your anger towards the actual culprit rather than the 19-year-old girl. Just a thought. The Brit recently defended her support for the Aussie. Emma told the Evening Standard that Nick had always been very kind and generous towards her. She said that he supported her after Wimbledon last year and before the US Open. She said that he was always really nice to her and that's why she was rooting for him. Nick responded to her support by saying that he hadn't had much communication with Emma, but he understood that this was a bit of a payback for how he'd stuck up for her in the media. He added that he was glad to have these supporters. He also said that she was going to be one of the most important players on the WTA Tour, and he believed she could totally win many Grand Slams in the future. No arguments there. She's going to be a superstar. And lastly, Coco Goff shuts down a fan. Well, fan may not be the right word here. Along with being a huge tennis star at just the age of 18, Coco Goff also has quite a social media presence, particularly on TikTok, like a true Gen Z queen. The American has over 7 million followers on the platform, and she regularly posts videos there and interacts with fans quite a bit. But not everybody's a well-wisher on there. One such user tried to insult the world number 11 by saying that her matches happened in empty stadiums. He commented, nobody goes to your games on one of her TikToks. Side note, maybe it would have been funny if it was true, but it's really just not. Instead of getting riled up, Coco just responded with, whatever you say, bro, with pictures of her playing in jam-packed stadiums around the world. And that's badass. Fans absolutely loved her response, and we really do love to see it. That's a wrap for this video. What did you guys think about Nick's gesture after his withdrawal from the Atlanta Open? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.